Hey there, everybody. Good morning. It is Tuesday. Let's <laughs> start to say Monday. It is Tuesday, May the 1st. Can you believe it? It's May already. Man, that's the fifth month. Fifth month? Yeah, fifth month. So that means uh, four months are in the book. You're a third of the way toward your goals. Are you? My name is Tom Rigsby. This is seven minutes in the morning where I challenge you <laughs> to uh, achieve your goals. Hey, Joe. Good morning to you, sir. Hey, if you, when you join, not if you join, if you don't join, you won't hear this. When you join, do what Joe just did. Leave me a comment. Let me know that you were here and it matters not to me whether you do it live or on the replay. Either way, I'll still see it and I'll still say hi. So. Uh, first of May. That means April's done. Four months in the books. One third of the way through the year. Are you one third of your way? One third of the way to the goals and outcomes you set for this year. That, that could be a challenging question. I hope that's a challenging question. So, uh, today is Tuesday. That means the radio show is coming up at the top of the next hour. So be sure and tune in for that. Talk radio for entrepreneurs.com. Either uh, you can search for that on Facebook or just do talk radio for entrepreneurs.com and that should get you the right place. All right. Um, so, oh, one other programming note. Uh, you may. Be excited to hear, or you may not, that it's very likely that the rest of the shows this week will come to you from the porch swing, maybe even into next week. Weather's getting nice, and we're going to have company. The granddaughter and granddaughter, the daughter and granddaughter are uh, coming to visit, uh, picking them up from the airport this afternoon, and they will be occupying part of the office, so... I don't know. Maybe you get to see them, too. Oh, we'll see if we can work that out. All right. So for today's topic, uh, why can there be only one? Why is there only one? Something like that, I think, is what I made the title. Talking about priority, right? And this is, I think, a three-parter that I'm going to do through the rest of the week. But why do I say that you can only have one priority? Well, because... And it's all about focus. Focus is really an acronym. Did you know that? Stands for follow one course until successful. Um, well, if you have more than one priority, first of all, just look at the word. By definition, priority means one thing. Before the list, priordinal, that's its origins. And so we can't put a list of things before the list. You can have one thing before the list. Yeah. Yeah, priority for me is going to the airport today. And, in fact, that is my priority today, is getting to the airport. If nothing else works out, I've got to be able to do that. got to be there when they get here, or they'll be standing on the curb looking around, and I'll be in trouble. So even though there's 24 hours in the day, it's that one maybe 30-minute window that is my priority today. So don't start phone calls right before that. Don't make a lot of commitments right after that. M make that the priority. But why? The question is, why can I only have one? I'm trying not to sneeze there. Why can I only have one priority at a time? And it's because of focus, right? You can't. Now, you can stack priorities so that once this priority is done, then you can move another one into its place. But that's kind of a junior, senior level thing. Because what we do, and look, especially around this town, it's rampant, right? We're smart folks. We can manage more than one priority. No, you can't. Your brain's not made that way. It just it doesn't work that way. And so when you're working on one thing, something else has to take a back seat to it. All I'm asking you to do, telling you you have to do, is be honest with yourself. If I have three things that I say are my number one priority today, which one do you think is going to get done? Maybe one of them, maybe, more likely, none of them. So, 
to make focus easier and dis- and therefore decision making easier, choose one. And here's another pro tip for you. Do that before you check your email in the morning or the night before. Just decide, all right, tomorrow this is my priority. And you're not allowed to stack. I'm just going to go ahead and retract that thing about stacking. You can't stack in the morning. Once you finish that one, then you can determine what the next priority is. Now, what do you do if you've got other, several things you need to get done in a day? That's fine. One still has to be the priority, and then you can put several other focus areas underneath that. Right? But one, you have to choose one. So what is your one priority today? My one priority today, getting to the airport on time. Everything after that, before that, it's just gravy or setup. Right? So what is your one priority for the day? Be honest with yourself. Doesn't matter if you lie to me. If you're lying to yourself, not going to get where you want to go. All right, that's it for today. If you feel like answering that question in the comments, please do. If you know somebody that could benefit from joining our conversations every morning, like and share this video with your network, or even better, send it to them in a message. That way you can be sure that they get it. Remember, the radio show is coming up the top of the hour, and I'll be back from outside in the port swing, probably. Maybe the back porch, but uh, probably the porch swing in the morning, 7 o'clock, with another installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning, and I will talk to you then. You have a great Tuesday.